I took uh, about 150 people and I did 50 people with hydrotherapy, 50 people with fleets, and 50 people with, we were using fleets back then, and 50 people with uh, colite. Uh, 50 okay. people with colite yeah. and, uh, and, you know, just randomly assigned them to th the various uh, different preparations. Um, the fleets was twice a day. The colite was at that time uh, one gallon all at the same time. Uh, and um, the uh, hydrotherapy was if patients were having normal bowel movements and weren't complaining of constipation, then they would take uh, a clear liquid diet the day before, uh, two or four Ducalax the night before just to get things started, hydrotherapy and then colonoscopy. And the colonoscopy uh, followed maybe what, two hours so, later? So or? they would come in uh, two hours before the procedure, the colonoscopy would be an hour, would be 45 minutes and then we would do the colonoscopy 15 to 30 minutes later. Uh, so it was shortly after the hydrotherapy. Uh, what, uh, what we found in that study was that the hydrotherapy worked quite well uh, we got uh, good to excellent preps in, in most patients. Um, it was comparable in efficacy to the fleets and the colite. As uh, far as effectiveness uh, and thorough. As far uh, as effectiveness, and, and, right, ability to have a good prep. Uh, and um, patients preferred it uh, uh, given uh, all of the potential uh, um, side effects that you can get from either fleets or from uh, colite.